As soon as the Jews settled in the Holy Land, one they began to count and observe seven-year cycles. Every cycle would culminate in a sabbatical year, two known as Shemitah, three literally, to release. The year following the destruction of the Second Holy Temple was the first year of the seven-year sabbatical cycle. In the Jewish calendar, counting from creation, this was year 3829, 68-69 CE in the secular calendar. By counting sevens from then, we see that the next Shemitah year will be the year 5775 after creation, which runs from Sept. 25. 2014 through Sept. 13, 2015. Seven years to the month. Wow. When, and, and, to the week. and to the week. And, and when you get to, what was the peak of the collapse? The peak was at the end of September 2008. It's the greatest collapse in Wall Street history. I mean, greatest collapse ever in points. When did it take place? The greatest collapse in American history took place on Elul 29, the day of the Shemitah, when mm. financial accounts are to be wiped out, and, we're, and the exact day that is the sign of judgment. So here you have that happen, and it happens down to the hours, because it happens when, as the sun is setting, that's when, when, that's when the final thing, I mean, down to the hours. But if you go back seven years, because it's a seven-year mystery, go back seven years from the greatest collapse in American history, and you find, you find, you get to the month of September 2001, 9-11, but you have the other greatest collapse in American history happened September 17th of 2001. It was caused by 9-11. So that's, that's like seven years just about. But if you, if you strip away the Western calendar and you go to the biblical calendar, the other greatest collapse happened on the exact same day of the Shemitah, Elul 29, mm. down to the hours. The two greatest collapses oh, wow. up wow. to those days happened. And not only that, you know, it's not just once a year. The Shemitah can only come once every seven years. So when did this happen? Both collapses happened on the once every seven year exact Shemitah. And so the message is, as it was with Israel, that America, your blessings are from God. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's it. True. You cannot. You it's cannot, on your money. It's on your. Yeah. In God we trust. Yeah. The problem is yeah. a lot of people trust in the money instead of the exactly. God. You know. Yeah. And so if you, but if you turn away from your God who has blessed you, and this is what Washington warned too, you turn away, then the blessings will collapse. The American prosperity age as we know it, where we've all been, most of us were born in this age of all of us, born in the age of American prosperity. That's mm -hmm. all we know. Um, that age will end if we don't turn back to God. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. It begins, the Shemitah year begins September 25th. Actually, mm -hmm. it's my birthday, so I remember it. Oh, <laughs> it be, it wow. begins, um, I don't, uh, and, and, it, and 2014, so it's coming, coming up. Yeah. And then it lasts for one year, and it mm -hmm. culminates on September 13th, yes. 2015. So that is the exact day. Now, 2015, that's Elul 29. That's the day when everything has to get wiped out. Now, oh. if God does what he did before, that the same thing would happen. He doesn't have to. But if we but, repent as a nation. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And even if we don't, God still doesn't have to do it the no. same way. But, <laughs> but, but, but I do believe if we're talking uh, about the future, I believe, I, I have no question according to the, the mystery of this, that there will, America will have greater shaking if it doesn't turn mm -hmm. back. You know, right now, it is, the culture is actually rapidly accelerating mm -hmm. from God, you yes. know. Yeah.